as I was mentioning earlier, if you know what kind of digestive upsets certain foods are likely to cause, then what you could do is you could season those foods with an herb that would tend to prevent those digestive upsets, and that would help out. Now, some of the foods that um, are apt to do that, uh, one of the real uh, classic ones, and I think there are our caraway plants are just little plants right here, tiny little caraways. So I don't have any caraway seeds to share with you, but you may be familiar with those since they're fairly common in cooking today. So maybe you have a recipe for coleslaw that calls for caraway seeds. Okay, sauerkraut, if you do sauerkraut, calls for caraway seeds. There's a very good reason for that. The reason for that is not only because caraway flavor and cabbage flavor go well together, but caraway will prevent what was known in the 19th century as the windy colic. <laughs> um, stomach pains accompanied by wind. Um, caraway is what's called a carminative herb. And so caraway could be paired up with foods that might tend to cause these problems, and it would prevent that from happening. Now, another food that we associate with those kinds of problems is beans. And over here, we've got savory. In fact, we have two different kinds of savory. Right here. This one is called summer savory. And the reason it's called summer savory is because it just grows in the summer. It's an annual herb, and so we have to plant it every year anew from some seeds. Savory was one of the most popular herbs in the 19th century. Today, a lot of us will think about basil when we think of herbs very common in our modern cooking recipes. Basil was around in the 19th century, in the 1800s, but it was just sort of coming into the cooking habits of New Englanders. It was coming in from some of the southern European foods, that, the French and so forth. But savory was a really old herb. It had been around for a long time. And we also have winter savory. This is winter savory right here. And this one's called winter savory because it lives through the winter. This is a perennial form. And yeah, when you crush it, this one will have a little bit stronger um, aroma than the summer savory. The summer savory is a little weaker and milder. This one's a little bit stronger. And it's similar, I think, in a lot of ways, sort of like rosemary in a way. It has kind of a piney quality to it, like rosemary does. And the, the nice thing about it is that it's a very easy plant to grow. Um, it, once you get it established in your garden, this particular plant right here has been here, was here when I started working at Old Sturbridge Village, and that was 36 years ago. So it's a really old plant. What we do every year, like we do with these multi-stemmed woody perennials is that we cut them way back hard in the spring so that all we get all this nice new growth all these stems these nice green stems you're looking at grew from the old woody growth this year and that gives us a uh, nice quality plant material and so this was used in fact when I have German visitors come to visit me they recognize the plant they say ah bone and flans, the bean plant. This one was put into a lot of different foods, but in particular would be added to beans. Now some of the other herbs that were paired up with foods to make them easier to digest include things that were used with meats, and that would be horseradish. Perhaps you've put horseradish sauce on roast beef. Um, the horseradish root, we know, is, is quite pungent, and even for me, if I just think about it, my saliva starts to flow. <laughs> so horseradish and also mustard are two herbs that stimulate the flow of digestive juices. They make your saliva and your stomach juices flow. And so people believe that would be excellent with meats since they were a little harder to digest. What you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of prime the pump by putting a little bit of mustard sauce or some horseradish sauce on your meats. With cucumbers, similarly to cabbage and beans, they can cause kind of a gassy problem with people. So you might be able to guess, anybody associate an herb name with cucumbers? How about if you're gonna make them into a pickle? Oh. Dill? So dill is an herb that will prevent gas. And so it was paired up with cukes, whether fresh ones or pickled ones. Uh, either the seed or the fresh green part of the dill plant was used 
um, with cucumbers. Again, these are all things that are going to prevent you from getting sick in the first place.